Hello there and a very good afternoon. The completion of the waterfront project in the vicinity of the historical Batu Kawa town will become another tourist attraction in Kuching. The first phase of the 10 million ringgit project commenced early April this year and is expected to be completed in 18 months. Chief Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Zohari Tun Abang Haji Openg said the Batukawa waterfront would be another stop for boat rides following the completion of the Siniawan waterfront as both have strong historical values and being among the heritage areas. He also said the project which used to be the shared project between the previous federal government and state government will boost the economy of the town. He further said the old heritage town must be upgraded and with the availability of the natural wetland, it would be able to boost the ecotourism in the area. Five areas have been identified to build affordable houses. These areas are Bako Buntal, Sungai Maung Segedup, Gita Baru, Kampung Senari and Lundu Sematan. Speaking at the Majlis Ramah Mesra Idul Fitri Parti Pesaka Bumi Putra Bersatu PBB Zon Kuching 2019, Chief Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Zohari Tun Abang Haji Openg said the government understands housing is a problem made worse by rural urban migration pressure as villagers move to look for jobs and other op opportunities. He said the Land and Survey Department has been directed to survey the identified areas and roads leading to them will also be upgraded. The Gabungan Parti Sarawak GPS government, according to Abang Zuhari, will cover all the costs once works have started. A 36-year-old Indonesian woman suffered cuts to her neck, stomach and head after she was allegedly attacked by a man armed with a sharp object at a workers' hostel at around 12.30 a.m. today. Kuching District Police Chief ACP Awangdin Awangani said the victim was rushed to the Sarawak General Hospital by a member of the public and later informed the police that she recognized the suspect as Selamat, who is also from Indonesia. Awangdin, who confirmed the case, said the victim had only started working as a coffee shop waitress at the Stutong Commercial Centre a few days ago and had befriended the suspect about six months ago in Indonesia. Awang Din disclosed that the case would be investigated under Section 326 of the Penal Code for voluntarily causing grievous hurt by dangerous weapons or means. And that is all for now. I'm Shira Abang Manso for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.